Hi, this is Dr. Hayek and today's video is about electrochemistry. Now, before I start my video, I would like to represent the outline of this chapter where I'm going to talk about all the topics and please refer to this page when you want to search for your topic of interest and click on the corresponding video to watch it. Electricity is very important in our daily life and more importantly if we can carry it around with us and hence the role of batteries. Now batteries in every electronic device you can find a battery that varies in size according to the need. Take for example the car battery which has a larger size compared to the uh, watch battery. Today I will be talking about how a battery works and what is it made from. But before that let's discuss the redox reaction. Redox reaction is the sum of two half equations the oxidation and the reduction. In this example, I'm showing the oxidation of zinc, where zinc is losing two electrons, and the reduction of copper two that's gaining the electrons lost by zinc. And therefore, you have transfer of electrons between zinc and copper. The transfer of electrons between zinc and copper can be used in a battery to generate electricity. And instead of having this transfer happening in one solution, we can split the reactants into two solutions as is represented in the following galvanic or what's sometimes called voltaic cell. Now the question is how can we prepare a galvanic cell? To prepare a galvanic cell, you will need one compartment for the anode, another compartment for the cathode, we will use two electrodes, for example, one aluminum and one lead, and a voltmeter that's going to help us measure the cell potential. And we will fill each compartment with the corresponding solution, with aluminum and lead. Now, as you can see in here, the voltmeter reads zero. In reality, the battery will start working and then it will stop after a short period of time. So why this is happening? because the battery is missing a very essential element which is the salt bridge. Now the salt bridge contains a gel of an ionic compound that assures the neutrality of each compartment. Hmm. Maybe this is not clear. Let's take a look on the following example. The anode compartment is becoming more positive and the cathode compartment is becoming more negative. And the positive charge of the anode compartment will attract the electrons and therefore will prohibit the electrons from getting transferred to the cathode. And hence the role of the salt bridge. The salt bridge will be pumping negative ions or anions to the anode compartment and positive ions or cations to the cathode compartment. And this way, both compartments will remain neutral at all time. And this will help the battery to continue generating power until that it reaches equilibrium. The salt bridge can be substituted by a porous disk. The porous disk will allow to transfer the extra negative ions in the cathode to the anode. And in this way, also the two compartments will remain neutral at all time. I hope this video was helpful to you. So please share, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.